has flown into combat from South Africa to Southern Iraq. Yet its greatest challenge is obsolescence. Across five decades, through generations of models, the Mirage has survived. The secret to its success, a far-sighted company that designed the shape of planes to come. For century, the name Dassault Aviation has been synonymous with French combat aircraft. France was one of the pioneers of military aviation. In World War I, France built more combat aircraft than any other nation. Fighters like Newport, Spad, and Breguet. After the war, the French aviation industry flourished. Among the new firms, Block Aviation. Its aircraft included the MB-200 bomber. And the radial-engined MB-150 series of fighters. When France fell in 1940, the brother of the head of Block Aviation joined the French resistance. After the war, Marcel Bloch renamed his company after his brother's resistance code name. And so Dassault Aviation was born, and pivotal in ushering France into the jet age. In 1947, Dassault began work on the first generation of French jet fighters, the Ouragan or Hurricane, which entered service in 1952. Oregon soon evolved into the Mystère 4, France's first supersonic fighter and one of the best combat aircraft of its day. Powered by a Verdun jet engine, the Mystère 4 could reach speeds of 696 miles per hour and was heavily armed with 30 millimeter cannons. Like all Dassault designs, it had a long service life and helped spawn other superior aircraft. During the mid-1950s, Dassault Aviation began development of a radical new aircraft design capable of speeds above Mach 2. The new fighter used a delta wing configuration, a shape that would become a trademark of Dassault fighters in the decades to come. Intended primarily as an all-weather interceptor, the Mirage III entered French Air Force service in 1961. Powered by the Snecma turbojet engine, the Mirage could achieve speeds of over 1,600 miles per hour. With more than 1,400 produced, the Mirage served for many years in France, as well as other foreign air forces. It carried a variety of missiles in its long career but relied primarily on a pair of 30 millimeter cannons mounted in its belly. These Weber. Je crois que tous les les avions ont, ont une histoire et un certain nombre d'avions dans le monde ont eu une histoire. Le Mirage est un de ces avions qui a été euh, extrêmement porté par euh, un événement particulier qui a été la guerre des six jours euh, en Israël 
et qui a rendu tout d'un coup cet avion extrêmement euh, populaire à travers le monde et qui en a fait un, un symbole d'avions euh, manœuvrants, euh, performants. Et puis euh, c'était un symbole de la technologie française. The Mirage 3 became the template for a much larger Delta Wing aircraft, the Mirage 4 bomber. Though similar in shape, the twin-engine Mirage 4 was a large, supersonic strike aircraft designed foremost to deliver strategic nuclear weapons. The Mirage 3 airframe proved adaptable to new concepts in aviation design, including vertical takeoff aircraft like the Mirage 35. While it could exceed Mach 2, the Mirage 35 lacked the range to make it a practical combat aircraft. The classic Delta Wing had shortcomings in some flight regimes. And so in the late 1960s, Dasso began experimenting with a variety of wing configurations. This led to the highly successful Mirage F-1 series of fighters, marked by conventional swept wings and a standard tail surface. The Mirage F-1 marked a breakthrough in Dassault fighter designs, with a performance markedly superior to previous models. A multi-role aircraft, the F-1 offered double the range of the Mirage 3 and excellent maneuverability. A true multi-purpose fighter, the Mirage F-1 entered service in 1973 and is capable of conducting strike missions or engaging in air-to-air -air combat. The Mirage F-1 can also be adapted to the naval strike mission, armed with the famous Exocet anti-ship missile. With such versatility, it's no wonder the F-1 has been exported throughout the world, serving in over 10 foreign air forces. Yet the Mirage's shape was about to return to its roots, thanks to a radical breakthrough in technology. For generations, fighter aircraft were controlled by, the by electronic systems, spawning the term fly-by-wire. In the United States, the F-16 Fighting Falcon was the first fighter to use this technology. Dassault quickly followed suit with the fly-by-wire Mirage 2000. Dans ce domaine, Dassault a été euh, véritablement un constructeur en avance sur son temps sur les commandes de vol. Ça a toujours été une des grandes forces de la société Dassault d'avoir su euh, créer des commandes de vol qui étaient adaptées aux qualités aérodynamiques de ses avions. Particulier euh, sur un bombardier comme le Mirage 4, euh, il y avait déjà tout un système de commandes de vol électrique avec un système de réversion mécanique en cas de problème du système électrique. Et puis l'évolution naturelle avec l'apparition des avions CCV, comme le F-16. Fly-by-wire technology has been key to the enhanced maneuverability found on most modern fighters. Greater maneuverability is critical in a dogfight not only for getting onto an opponent's tail, but also evading enemy aircraft or missiles. Using fly-by-wire controls, the pilot can maneuver the plane to its full potential, a potential sometimes beyond the capacity of the pilot himself. The computerized flight control system monitors every movement of the aircraft and every control activated by the pilot.